before the video even gets started, make sure you're liking this video because we're back with another one. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl Tosin, aka Baby Girl Toast, aka BGT, aka you know that girl <laughs> and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing my lovely face hey what's up my name is tosin definitely stop by the leg gag i do entertaining series i do chit chat videos i do i do it all if you are a returning subscriber what's good bgt gang it helps me a lot to know that i'm doing something right when you like videos and you comment and you engage make sure you keep doing that as a bgt member it lets me know that you're actually liking what i'm putting out i'm feeling good today because i'm actually back with another video and i cannot believe that i posted four videos in one you guys have not checked my recent videos make sure to go check them out right now this video today is a get to know me you know updated Q&A the last time I did this was in 2019 and I told you guys when I get to 10k I'm gonna do one well I lied <laughs> So here it is, it's 2021, and we're on the road to 20K. Ooh, I like that. I like the sound of that. We're so close here so far, but you know, I can wait. I asked you guys on my Instagram. If you guys are not on my Instagram, my Instagram is very all dot toast. So go check that out as well. I told you to ask me a bunch of questions, and the questions you guys are asking me, oh my. So I decided to get myself a bottle of my favorite wine. So I have my glass with me. I hope you have your glass poured as well. And let's get into these questions. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm good, I look good, I feel good. How are you? What is your ethnicity? So I'm Nigerian. I'm half Yoruba, half Edo. My mom's Edo, my dad's Yoruba, so that's for me to say. Describe yourself in three words. I would say I am dramatic, cause I feel like you guys can tell I'm dramatic from my editing, my do 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 do. I'm very, what's the word? A little bit crazy. But not any bad, more any annoying. That. and i would say i'm very bold i like to do very daring things yeah i'm bold i'm crazy and i am dramatic how many siblings do you have i only have one sibling i have a little sister that i love and cherish so much shout out to you Darius. love you how do you stay confident always showing up for myself especially even when i don't want to making promises and actually keeping them to myself for it to manifest outside it always has to come from within for me to become i have to be Who inspires you? I take inspirations from a lot of places. A lot of things inspire me. I can't really say there's a one thing. It's just like if you are doing something that is that you are scared to do or you need to take a leap of faith and you took it and it worked for you or you took it and maybe you fell down and you discovered something else that even worked better for you. Like those things inspire me because I feel like everything in my life at the moment is just taking a leap of faith. Someone said this is not a question, but I love you so much and I love your content. Thank you so much. Why did you name your channel Baby Girl Toes? Yeah, Baby Girl Toes. I've always gone by that like nickname since I was like what 15. Like I may change it, I may not change it. But yeah, Baby Girl Toes is so easy, like and it's not complicated, so it's what it, it, what it is. And now we have BGT, and I really like that BGT because like boo boo boo. <laughs> I like BDT, I like baby girls because it's fun, it's youthful because I'm still a baby girl. Are you a homebody or a party animal? I'm definitely a homebody. Like, I love being in my house, chilling. Wait, wait, don't get that twisted because whenever I step out, baby, I step out, okay? Period. Definitely a homebody. Like, I'm not really like an outside, like. Baby, what yeah, baby? What? No, I'm not an outside person like that. I was with, what inspired you ending your videos with go crazy, go stupid? In my first video, I was very nervous because that was my first ever video on the internet. I was so excited, so I was just like, go crazy, <laughs> stupid. Yes, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I'm a YouTuber now, so why not like make that say? What are your career goals and do you know what you want to do professionally? Career goals. Um, I don't like to speak on it because honestly, I still haven't decided, but I have something in mind. In terms of social media goals, like obviously YouTube, especially, I would say to get that 100k. Black! 
yeah just having that silver plaque next to me and be like yeah i actually did that i actually achieved this yeah it would be monumental in my life and also kind of building my community and finding more of my core supporters and actually connecting with people and you know sharing I just creating, creating and vibing, creating, like just being as expressive as I want to be, taking risks, being tossing, being who I am, and just like being adventurous. Are you proud of yourself? I'm proud of myself so far. I'm super proud that I'm like trying to be consistent, especially when I am extremely busy in my real life. And I'm making sacrifices to keep that promise to myself. How do you balance school and YouTube? Good. Good. Um, good. Coming from an African household, the most important thing is school. So making sure your school is like making friends with your course, getting tutors if you need tutors, doing things on time. Like right now, it's like, well, after this video, I'm going to go and study. Like time management is very important. Make sure that you know what you're doing. Like with videos, I already know. I kind of have a 50% idea what I'm doing each month and then just sticking to it. No, there's no changing, there's no going back and forth. There's no room for perfectionist toes here. Like you keep putting out the good or the okay or whatever, like because eventually it, through that journey you find you're amazing, you're great. It doesn't always have to be great all the time. That's the whole essence of being a creator. You need to create. What are your hobbies? I love reading. I feel like reading is such, has been my go-to of recent and I'm loving it, I don't like it. I'm currently reading The Mountain Is You. Any birthday plans? Currently big 21 and I'm going to be big 22. I really don't think I have any birthday plans, honestly. My birthday gift to myself is rest. I need to rest. I've been pushing myself a lot this year and my gift to myself this year is just rest. I don't have any extraordinary plans. I might do a birthday vlog on it, but yeah, I'm not doing anything crazy this year. But big 23 though, we might get a little some some. What are your favorite self-love slash self-care ritual? Meditation. I started meditating recently. Like I do it every 10 minutes in the middle of my day. So like in the afternoon time. And it helped so much in terms of calming my mind down. Another thing I do is journaling. Like I talk about journaling on my Instagram a lot of times. Journaling helps me because I'm an overthinker. So when I journal and I put things down, like it just helps me get everything out of my head. Another thing is ex exercising has been like, my baby like I've, i love exercising so i'm back on exercising again i'm pushing i'm lifting you know i'm having you know i'm doing all that so i'm really really really, really happy about that like those are my favorite soccer rituals what keeps you going my vision my dream for myself i'm a big dreamer i'm very passionate about a lot of things when i think of me when i think of twisting what i see myself doing what i see myself achieving keeps me going because i know it's painful i know it's very hard i know it's not the easiest thing but i know that there was a reason why it was put in my head and there was a reason why that idea was in my head there was a reason why that thought was in my head it was because i was the best person to do the job so i take the challenge and i do it like a champ that doesn't mean i don't cry that doesn't mean i don't fall down and i don't be like whoa is me like what the hell am i doing it doesn't mean that it's just even in those moments i just gather strength and do what i need to do someone asked me are you in lagos in december Ooh, who knows who knows are you gonna buy my ticket that's the question best believe if i'm in lagos in december the content you guys are going to get ah uh, the content you guys are going to get oh it's gonna I already have pre-planned content if I go back. Ooh, so also said snog marry kill all the guy friends shown on your YouTube channel. Ah, okay, let's go. Let's start off with the killing. I have to kill Shino. Yes, I mean, there's no need to explain why I have to kill him. I feel like we, and you as a viewer, you know why we need to kill him. Marry, I would say I would marry Tope. Snog, that's about. Let's think about it. It's not like you. Next question. <laughs> tips for new YouTubers. I love your channel, by the way. Okay. You know what? Instead of giving you tips, let me give you things I regret doing as a YouTuber. One, becoming a perfectionist. Just post, create, 
put that at 40 percent 50 percent 70 percent because you're always going to be more efficient and consistent that way because the key to success on youtube is just consistency with consistency that's how your subscribers have more videos to kind of get to know who you are with consistency you're able to kind of grow and learn from your mistakes that you would make instead of not doing the video at all because you know it wasn't going to be 100 percent with consistency you're just able to keep learning and doing something over again and with practice you get faster especially when it comes to editing because that's really where the work is i have another question that says something about how do you feel about youtubers i don't have have like a vision i didn't have a vision like you think i didn't know i just jumped into youtube i didn't really have like oh i only want to do beauty i only want to do lifestyle i just jumped into youtube i did a review video you don't have to think too much about things just do it and then figure it out along the journey you need to be as flexible as possible if you want to really know what you're doing and then when you know what you're doing then tunnel vision on just doing that i'm still in my let me know what i'm doing phase do you get don't let anyone box you in are the people you show on your youtube channel your only friends no those are not my only friends the people i show on my youtube are my most expressive and most nonchalant and most um, energetic friends that don't care camera on camera off and they just have good vibes i have other friends you just don't see them because either they're camera shy or they're busy or they just are not the same on camera off camera which is like not for everybody are you coming to lagos in december and can you do a meet and greet i meet and greet oh my god you want to meet me I come back home like should I do a meet and greet? I don't know. You guys should tell me in the comment section if I should. Make sure to comment if you want me to do a meet and greet in Lagos. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years I'll be 27. That's crazy. Uh, I'll have a career in Jesus name. I would have a successful YouTube channel by God's grace. I will be engaged. I think so. I will be financially independent, meaning that like I'll be able to like afford myself and even more. I would give a TED talk because one of my dreams in life is to give a TED talk. Like literally, like that's all I think about every day. Oh, and I would say it's in five years, like making sure that whatever I'm doing in life, like it's what I love and it makes me fulfilled. Even though I would be stressed at work, I still feel fulfilled. Because I feel like what's life worth living if you aren't fulfilled with what you're doing? So when you started your YouTube channel, did you have the friends that did not repost? And also how did you deal with being judged on the internet? Yes, I had those friends that did not repost. I didn't care. I don't put too much emphasis on you needing to do it because you doing it or not doing it does not determine how successful I will be. It's just kind of a if you want to do it, it'll be nice. But I don't put too much emotions on that i kind of just focus on what i'm doing because at the end of the day my youtube channel is to the world not to my friends or to my friend group some people actually have some things going on that you may not know of and maybe that's why they're not able to do that and it doesn't even matter anyways like instead put all that energy to you creating content for the world because that's what matters more finding your audience that connects with you because your friends are not your customers and also your friends are not your subscribers like it's just a blessing or a bonus that they could be your subscribers but they're not your subscribers start thinking big and stop thinking small a lot of you guys want to know if i'm single or if i'm not single hmm is your ex or rare hmm let's put let's put, let's put pictures side by side is my ex or rare okay so he has the beard so has the beard okay dark skin could my ex be alright? Well, unfortunately, no. Alright, is my friend. I see what you were going for, Jonathan. You try, you were, ah, you were close. You were, you were a bit close. You missed the mark. <laughs> alright, no, my ex. I guess I am single. So ask me, how are you dealing with your breakup? Honestly, this is, this has been the most weirdest breakup ever because I don't feel any. You know when you break up with someone, then but it's not it's not so venom like um the last um red flags video you know i don't have any venom or hate towards 
<laughs> my ex they have a lot of respect and i feel the moments we shared together were a lot of fun sometimes in life good things come to an end and i feel like this is one of them i really hate exes so i just wish them good and move on your life oh also to clear things up the ex i was talking about in my heartbreak video is, is not the same ex that's not the same ex that's a different person someone asked me are you talking to anyone new um no currently i'm not and i don't think i will be anytime soon because i really just want to stay single single what should we expect next oh next videos that are coming out are, are very out of the box very nervous but i'm still going to do them anyways if i feel i feel as to get up sharp yeah they're very new i really can't wait to show you guys the videos like i don't want to talk so much because you guys know I, I don't like to talk i just like to do all right guys that is the end of this video i hope you guys liked this video and i hope you guys got to know me a little bit better and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your girl bgt today and make sure you are also turning your post notifications on so you're updated when, whenever i post a new video i love you guys and thank you guys so much for the love and support so far especially on my recent I, I appreciate it so much and we're so close we're on the road to 20k my birthday is on the 26th um i don't know when this video is going to be posted but i just want to say let's get to 20k as a birthday gift so i'm going to be signing out by saying go crazy go stupid go stupid go crazy and i'll see you guys back again in some new bgc content I know you want me Every day not only when you're lonely Yeah, you see you think you know me But you don't even know nothing about me Yeah, it's in my thick thighs That's when you're looking